stay family friendly, dog friendly, and goat friendly spot just north of San Antonio. We are here at the Screaming Goat Yard and Tap, and joining me is one of the owners, JD Scott. Thanks Hi. for having us. Thanks I had for coming no out. idea you were going to, you know, kind of treat us to lunch like this. This is yeah, amazing. This is, this is a I, I should have stopped eating yesterday, okay? All right, so screaming goats. Goats. Yeah, they scream. <laughs> Not because they're being used in any food. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just they're having fun. They're having fun. Yeah. Okay, and that's the great thing here is you do have goats out there in the pen, right? right. Okay, so let's talk about the food and drinks you okay. have here. Let's start here with the incredible appetizers and starters. So this is a iceberg wedge salad. We use a baby wedge. We pile it high with bacon, blue cheese, and then we add a blue cheese, dress, blue cheese dressing on top. There. This is a chicken and sausage jambalaya. We make that as one of our specials. It's made daily and fresh, and uh, we just use a non dewy sausage and then a chicken thigh meat, and then just make the traditional jambalaya. All right, and what? Oh, look at these fries. Those are our goat fries. So we use a no beer goat cheese. Harm. No goat farm. No goat farm. We use a goat, for, uh, a beer cheese. We call it our goat beer cheese, and then our house fries with some bacon and green onions. What you think? This is our Bavarian pretzel. It comes with three different sausages. Mm -hmm. You need to get a andouille, boudin, or jalapeno sausage. Oh my gosh, look at those dipping sauces. And then we add some of our famous green beans, pickled green beans that are traditionally used in Bloody Marys, but we said we'll just put them on the pretzel platter. Yes, versatile. This is gonna be our chicken and sausage gumbo. We're a big fan of chicken and sausage around here because it does really well with some of the traditional Louisiana dishes. Mm -hmm. So this is a gumbo that we uh, also make every day, scratch made, and uh, it's also one of our top sellers coming out of the, the colder months. We have our beignets or our white chocolate bread pudding. Beignets, we pile high with powdered sugar, so it's also a messy adventure. Yes! And then you get a sip of this nice fainting goat lattes. Okay, I'll just be swimming in this. Okay, but we've got some other drinks to show off too, right? So these are our, you know, our refreshing summertime cocktails. This is our gimlet, which is a play on like the mojito, and then we also have a strawberry mojito which is going to be our one of our summer cocktails as well. Okay. And how many beers on tap? 33. So we are the Screaming Goat Yard in tap. Mm -hmm. So therefore we have a really nice portfolio of beers. We try to source beers that are maybe not so easy to get, but have a lot of crowd you know, appeal mm -hmm. to them. Okay. And so uh, that's pretty much mm -hmm. in mainly Texas beers. Okay. Let's talk about the venue, okay? Because you've got a great outdoor area too. We have tons of picnic tables out front. We also have Anirondack chairs that you mm -hmm. can relax in. We have music that's basically surround sound outside. And then we bring in live entertainment from Wednesday Wednesday through Sunday. We also incorporate our goat bingo. So goat bingo is a new thing that we're doing. And typically we, what happens is that they, we have a couple goats that sit in a little pen mm -hmm. and we have a grid and they go to the bathroom mm -hmm. and we play bingo. I love it. Yeah. So it could go on for hours or it could be over in minutes. We do you just never games. know. Tell folks where you're located and how they can we're find you. We're in Spring Branch, Texas. Mm -hmm. We're at Four Sun Valley. We're right next to one of a famous restaurant in, in the, this area, which is Antler Cafe. <laughs> So we, uh, we're great friends with those guys and uh, we just love being here. All right, thank you so much. Okay, JC, you're gonna have to help, you know, start working through some of this food. I can't do it myself. <laughs> you too, Brian over there. All right, for more information on the Screaming Goat Yard and Tap, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. I'm gonna need a rather large to-go bag. Oh, that's fine. And cup. Okay. Mm. Thank you.